Autonomous drones are still far from human pilots in terms of speed, agility, and robustness. Human pilots take years to acquire the skills shown in this video. Our dream is to build an alpha pilot that can fly drones as good or even better than human pilots. But how can we get there? Let's jump directly to the definition of the drone racing problem. We define the drone racing task as an optimization problem where the time is minimized. This optimization is subject to the system dynamics and constraints and to the constraints of the track, passing through a series of gates in a certain order. Now, the question is, how do we solve this problem? Two different methodologies are currently used to solve these kind of problems, optimal control and reinforcement learning. Optimal control approaches excel when the dynamical system is very well understood, can handle constraints and provide guarantees. However, they rely on an online solver and often can only cope with differentiable cost functions. On the other hand, reinforcement learning can handle rewards that more directly encode the task at hand, but lacks the ability of handle explicit constraints. Within the scope of optimal control approaches for drone racing, model predictive contouring control has recently emerged as the state of the art. In contrast to a traditional model predictive control strategy, where the distance to a reference trajectory is minimized, we change the paradigm and use model predictive contouring control, which maximizes the progress along a reference path while minimizing the distance to it. In this figure, the progress is shown in orange, and the distance to the reference path is shown in green. The path to be tracked, which is shown in blue, needs to be arc length parameterized, but it does not need to be feasible. It can be any differentiable 3D path and therefore can be generated very quickly. Since the reference path is not parameterized by time, the time allocation is optimally chosen by the controller online. On the other hand, reinforcement learning optimizes directly the task objective, specified by a reward function. In the drone racing case, the reward function consists of the gate progress reward and the body rate regularization reward. Additionally, there are negative rewards when the drone crashes against the gates. In an extensive study, we compare the performance of these approaches in three different environments a nominal simulator, a realistic simulator, in the real world. The study shows that reinforcement learning is able to outperform optimal control in terms of lap time and robustness, both in simulation and in the real world. This is due to the fact that reinforcement learning is able to optimize a reward that is closer to the final task, whereas optimal control architectures need to pass through an intermediate representation of the task, in the shape of a trajectory or a path. This comparison can be analyzed in two different dimensions, the choice of optimization method, how we solve the problem, or the choice of optimization objective, which problem we solve. Recent research has concluded that the main advantage of RL lies in the fact that it can solve a much more complicated optimization objective. If we decompose a tracking model predictive controller and expand its cost function, we can see that there are three terms. A quadratic term, which depends on the tuning parameters, a linear term, which depends on the tuning parameters and on the reference trajectory, and a constant term, irrelevant for the minimizer. All model predictive controllers are often transformed into this quadratic form such that they can be solved in real time. Our hypothesis is that a cost map can be found from observations directly to cost function, given a high level task defined by a reward function by leveraging a new family of differentiable QP solvers. In this work, we introduce a new architecture called actor-critic model predictive control to bridge the gap between reinforcement learning and model predictive control. This architecture equips the agent with a differentiable MPC, located at the last layer of the actor network, that provides the system with online replanning capabilities and allows the policy to predict and optimize the short-term consequences of its actions. Instead of relying on intermediate representations such as trajectories, we directly learn a map from observations to cost. 
Therefore, at deployment time, the control commands are drawn from solving an MPC, which leverages the system's dynamics and finds the optimal solution given the current state. We test our approach at the task of flying a drone time optimally through a sequence of gates. In the vertical configuration, we add an external wind disturbance that drives the system to out-of-distribution situations and assess how the policy copes with the unseen situation. In the case of Model Free RL, ACMLP, we show how the system has problems to pass through the gates, not being able to return to the path and driven out of it most of the time. In the case of the proposed approach, ACMPC, we can see how the platform's trajectory does indeed pass through the gates and is much more consistent among different trials. Finally, the pure MPC approach which tries to track a pre-computed time-optimal trajectory can't recover from the influence of the disturbance and does not fly through the gates. Similar conclusions can be drawn from the horizontal flight test, where instead of introducing a wind disturbance, we randomly sample the initial position in a 3x3x3 three by three by three cube around the nominal initial position. In these illustrations we show the evolution of the value function learned by the critic network. When a gate is successfully passed, the region of expected high rewards shifts to guide the drone towards the next gate. This can be seen as a form of mode switching behavior that emerges from the binary nature of the reward function and that is often hard to encode in an MPC. We demonstrate that our approach is able to learn complex behaviors and agile flight for a highly non-linear system like a quadrotor. We can fly at speeds of up to 14 meters per second in two different tracks, a circle track and a split S track.